Hello and welcome to On the Shelves at ACPL. It is early July and we have some new books that have come in in the last couple of months that were not featured on our earlier episodes. So we are going to show you what is new on our shelves this week. Our first group of books are thrillers and mysteries and our first one is Something She's Not Telling Us by Darcy Bell. This book is told from the perspective of two different women. One is Charlotte. She has a daughter named Daisy. And then her brother Rocco is dating a woman named Ruth. And Ruth seems very interested in Daisy. So the story is told from Charlotte's perspective of this woman kind of really overly interested in her daughter, perhaps, and then her daughter disappears. But the story is also told from Ruth's point of view, which sees uh, Charlotte as being a lackadaisical parent, maybe not doing everything that she ought to do. So to find out what really is going on, who's really telling the truth, uh, which side uh, you want to believe, this would be a great book to pick up and enjoy this summer. Our next book is Eagle Station by Dale Brown. This is part of a series uh, that he has done featuring Brad McLanahan and Nadia Rosick. In this book, uh, Brad and Nadia have gotten married. They have just completed the mission um, from the previous book, but now uh, the world is still in grave danger from the Chinese and the Russians. And so uh, they find out, find out that while the Americans are trying to mine uh, helium-3 resources on, uh, on the moon to power a device, uh, the Russians and Chinese have built a secret base on the other side of the moon, the dark side of the moon, and if they can get their base fully operational, they can shoot down any lunar craft that heads towards the moon or anywhere else in space. So Dale Brown is listed on the top as uh, the best military adventure writer in the country today by Clive Cussler. So if you are a thriller uh, lover, this would be a great book to pick up. Our next book is a gothic thriller, uh, kind of a ghost story. Uh, it is The Woman in the Mirror by Rebecca James. The main character, Alice, it has gone to Winterbourne Manor to be a governess for the de Grey family. But what starts off as a pleasant experience quickly turns sour. Uh, the children are dismissive and start being very cruel to her as, and the father also is not very welcoming and uh, very dismissive of her as well. And then at, while that story is going on, we also go to the present when a young lady has found out that she is heir to Winterborn and is a descendant of the de Grey family. Uh, she was adopted, so she really did not know any of this until she finds out that she inherits this. And when she goes to Winterborn, she discovers that the original uh, mistress of Winterborn is not very interested in other people taking over her beloved manor. So I am assuming that that means that she's a ghost. So uh, if you are looking for something to put a chill up your spine this summer, pick up The Woman in the Mirror. Our next book is In Her Shadow by Kristen Miller. This is another gothic thriller, uh, keep you up in the middle of the night uh, kind of book. Uh, Colleen is the secretary uh, to Michael, and Michael gets her pregnant. So he moves her to Ravenswood, which is his estate, 
but the staff of Ravenswood are not very welcoming of Colleen, and she feels like she is living with the, the figurative and perhaps even literal ghost of Joanna, who was his wife and has disappeared several months ago. But when the police find bones uh, near the house and her husband comes under suspicion, Colleen finds herself really struggling with what happened to Joanna, what is happening to me, am I trapped here at Ravenswood, uh, should I be running away, or is this all just a big misunderstanding? Our next book is Seven Lies by Elizabeth Kay. It is about two women, Jane and Marnie, who grew up together, tell each other everything, but when Marnie meets a man and falls in love, Jane tells her first lie. Uh, she doesn't really like the husband all that much, but she lies to her best friend, says that she does like him. Uh, but that leads to another lie and another lie, and the husband ends up dead, not quite sure how, and Jane realizes that by lying, she has l perhaps led to you know, to his death. This book seems like it would be very uh, chilling and a great thriller for a summer read. Our next book is Bitter Paradise by Ross Penny. It is a Dr. Zol Zabo medical mystery. And in this book, we have two interlaced stories. One is of a Syrian refugee who was a doctor in Syria but has escaped with his family, is living in Canada, and is now a barber uh, because he is not allowed to practice medicine. He is trying to, obviously has escaped Syria and the violence, but unfortunately uh, finds that the violence has followed him as a fellow Syrian refugee is found murdered in his barber shop. In the meantime, uh, Dr. Zabo and his colleagues are investigating a polio epidemic. And this new doctor, Dr. Hassam Kusa, visits someone in the hospital who is suffering from this polio-like disease and sees something that might help the epidemiologist figure out what's going on, but telling it will ruin his chances of ever becoming a doctor here in Canada. Our next book is Hidden from Our Eyes by Julia Spencer Fleming. This is part of her Russ Van Alstein Claire Ferguson series of books. Claire is a Episcopal priest. Russ is a, the chief of police in Miller's Kill, New York, where they live. In this entry of the series, Russ is called to a murder that is very similar to murders that happened 20 years ago, and he was actually considered a suspect. Uh, a woman is found in a party dress, dead, but with no indication of why she was killed. And this happened twice, 20 years ago, and here is the third body. And they're trying, she, so Russ and his wife are trying to figure out what is going on, uh, who is the killer, who is, who is doing this and has been doing this for 20 years. And how does it uh, how does it keep coming back to Russ? Our next book is Have You Seen Me by Kate White. Allie appears at work one morning, and her key card isn't working. Her boss is shocked to see her because she hasn't worked there in five years. Allie is sent to a psychiatric hospital to try to figure out what's going on. She has lost several days months, years of her memory, and figures out, slowly starts to remember things, and remembers that she's married to a man named Hugh, she's now a freelance journalist, but she has lost the last 72 hours of her life, and as she tries to go back and piece what may have happened, 
she realizes that someone is very determined to keep her from remembering what all she, what happened to her in these last 72 hours. Our next book is Mrs. Moore Goes Missing by Marila Seismikawa. I will make sure that I put that uh, very clearly uh, written across the screen so that you can, uh, if you want to request this book, uh, you can uh, spell it out for our, our staff or, or search for it yourself on our catalog. Uh, this is based in Krakow in, in 1893. Sophia is a bored housewife. Her husband wants her to stay home and, you know, and volunteer, uh, but she's looking for more excitement in her life. And she volunteers at a local uh, nursing home. One of the people who lives there dies and she thinks the death is suspicious. The police kind of laugh her off, say, eh, it's just a natural death. So she investigates and becomes a interesting amateur detective. This is very much in the vein of Agatha Christie and some old period mysteries. And so if you are a fan of traditional mysteries, this would be a great book to pick up this summer. Our last mystery thriller is After She Wrote Him by Solari Gentile. This is a mix of a mystery as well as maybe some uh, science fiction fantasy. Madeline is a writer and she doesn't know where this character of Edward came from. He has sprung up in her mind. He seems to have his own agenda and has, is developing himself as a character. Meanwhile, Edward doesn't know where Madeline came from and is also a writer and isn't quite sure uh, how she has such strong opinions. So we have two people, both of whom think they've written the other person. And were to find out who is the author and who is the character and what is going on, you'll have to pick up after she wrote him. So that's it for this episode of On the Shelves ACPL. We will see you next time. And remember, if there, you see anything you like, you may put it on hold by going to our website, clicking on catalog, finding the book, and then entering, entering your information. Or you can call any of our branches and we can help you put the book on hold. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.